My name is John Baldessari. I get labeled as a conceptual artist, which I think is a misnomer, but everybody gets a label in life. I get labeled, you know, a California artist, and I think that's a misnomer also, but we get labels. <laughs> I just would rather be called an artist. I was interested in Philip Gustin when I was in high school, and my parents used to subscribe to Life magazine, and his early works were in it. I would tear them out and save them. It was very sophisticated work. And then when he started doing this later work, he got severely criticized. It was an art, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, he's on the right track. You know, people are saying that about him. What I like about him is that he is trying to de-skill himself and take all the sophistication away, you know, that he's just like really a, a dumb artist. And I'm using dumb in, in a good way. So it's this seemingly clumsy, but very sophisticated brushwork. Uh, they're not slick surfaces. You can see the brushwork. And then I like his simplicity of choice in subject matter. I guess it comes out of Van Gogh's painting of a pair of old boots. You know, you don't need to paint a cathedral. You just have to be an interesting painter. It's utter simplicity, those bug eyes. And where's the nose? Have we ever seen a mouth? It's almost like the eyebrow and the ear could be interchanged. And his figures are always smoking a cigarette. There's always that dumb cloud of smoke, which if it weren't with a cigarette, could be a rock, it could be anything. <laughs> Don't you laugh when you see that? <laughs> I think it's macabre humor. It's a laugh that's also shattered by the thought of the brevity of life. Poetic mind would think that death is absurd and funny. The elements of time, the light and the clock, and the short duration of the cigarette. There's more light in, in the room in which he is than there is outside. It's like a prison cell. He's almost in bondage, you know, with the bedclothes. Might even call that a straitjacket. It's, it's nightmarish in some way, you know, of being constrained and trapped by time. I think it's tough to like. I think, you know, the average viewer is going to say, yeah, my kid can do that, and that would be almost dismissive. But I think it's brilliant making art look like it's not about skill. He knew that uh, he was going to ruffle feathers and irritate people. I absolutely identify with his courage in doing that. It's one of the things I've always emphasized, you know, don't be a virtuoso and don't be a show-off.